<laughs> it's finally here, boys. The devil's cocaine, snow, man. Oh, I hate to see it, man. I hate to feel it, but it's here, man. I'm gonna tell y'all how to be successful in trucking. And so, I know the skeptics are gonna be watching this, ready to pick it apart. I'm gonna be uh, getting back out on the road. So, woo, let's get it going, baby. into this all right so in order to be successful in trucking we have to determine what success is and for everybody in my opinion everybody that's different because the way I define success is to reach your desired results that's how I would define success so everybody has these different different desires and different goals my goal um, to make a decent livable income be an owner operator and be home as frequently as possible and I feel like I've reached that desired goal you know so the question is how do you become successful how do you reach these goals how do you I think the first thing is like you have to know what you want are aimlessly floating around we're, we're doing our jobs we have no financial ambition we have no financial goals and we're just aimless. I don't claim to be successful and I don't claim to be that I'm the most successful or I'm, I'm at the top of the game or I have all the knowledge or anything like that. What I'm trying to do is, man, bring people on a path to where they, 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 they start thinking about what they really want for their future. I love trucking. I love turning my truck on. I love this truck. I love everything about it. Um, I love, I love it, you know? Um, but that's not all I want in life. And I wanted, I kind of wanted a life outside of trucking. That's one part of it. I think that's the beginning stages, is knowing what you want. Just knowing where you want to go. What's up guys, so this is just like a super serious uh, plug for myself. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, 
please subscribe to the channel ring the bell make sure you hit all also if you have any advice comment that down below and like whether it's owner operator or for a new driver or something like that just kind of distinct five like hey this is for owner operators here's something i've learned hey this is for new drivers here's something i've learned man i'd like to see what y'all's opinion is about what it takes to be a successful driver so y'all hit me up in the comment section let some other drivers know what's up man and uh yeah dude enjoy the rest of the video what's up guys this is wildbeard here and today i am at a way station over here i spent the night i'm headed to louisville kentucky i'm gonna pick up there and i'm gonna go to aurora colorado because i love the rockies and hopefully i don't get caught up in this way station because y'all know i haven't had the best luck with way stations here recently anyway so let's hop to the video let's get past this way station and rock on What's up guys, so I just got off of a load for the day. It was canceled, it's a block run for Amazon. I just got $656, but uh, yeah, it was a block run, it was canceled, I'm gonna get paid the full thing. Should be, that's what they told me, that's what I understand it to be. So yeah, so let me, just, let me show y'all something, man. I, I did this, man. Got some work done on my truck. I put these rubberized airlines on my truck, man had the shop do that and the reason why I did that man was because those plastic airlines which is what I normally had in the winter time a lot of those will snap and break if you're making sharp turns trying to back up a lot I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for those airlines that's a lot of money but it's I look at it as an investment this is my truck now and I want these airlines to last a long time so that's why I put these good airlines on second thing to be successful in trucking man you have to go on the offense Nobody's gonna do it for you. Nobody, you, you know, your dispatcher's not gonna do it for you. Your mommy's not gonna do it for you. Your daddy's not gonna do it for you. Your old lady's not gonna do it for you. Your significant other isn't gonna do it for you. Nobody's gonna do it for you. You've gotta do it for yourself. You've gotta be the one that goes on the, at, on the attack, man. When, you're, when you need something, if there's something wrong, if there's something troubling you, if the communication aspect of going on the offense, initiating that, um, if you're not happy with your money, if you're not happy with something that's going on in your, in your trucking circumstances, man, you have to go on the offense, man. Nobody's going to know. Nobody can read your mind, man. You have to go on the offense, man. And I think that's like the key uh, of, of reaching goals um, is, is going on the offense and taking the initiative to do it and quit expecting everybody else to do it for you. It's, it's, not, it's never going to happen like that. Got the rest of the day off. I'm going to edit this video because I'm behind on my schedule. Really far behind. And I apologize for that. But, dude, yeah, man. So let's rock this thing, man. Appreciate you guys. What we're going to go see is whether Wild Eyes wants some breakfast. I might make her some breakfast. She doesn't think y'all like her, man. So can y'all just comment on, one of the, on this video, man? And just be like, Wild Eyes, we miss you. You feel my heart. The grace that never ends I know that you with me Take me to a new horizon I've never known a joy So vibrant Your love is where I found my life in You glow in my heart Take me to a new Do you want me to make you some breakfast? What did you get? I'm gonna... I'll make you some... You want some Chick-fil-A biscuits? 
Do you want some of those? Those kind of sound good. You want some chicken minis from Chick Fil A? Not like I just want some. Not all. Yeah, I'll buy you some. Do you want some of that? I just said I did. Do you uh, you want to come with me? I'll go get you some chicken minis. What's up guys so I just want to claim man that like I make mistakes all the time like I am not perfect and I will continue to make mistakes I will I will never get it right all the time but I'll tell you what separates the boys from the men is that when men get kicked off the horse and we make a mistake and we fall down we don't stay in the dirt we get back up in the saddle, man, and we keep moving forward. In the midst of adversity, we thrive. And I think that's the, the biggest point of success. We don't look at adversity as a, as a stumbling block. We don't look at adversity or challenges or, or setbacks as things that would deter us, but we look at it as opportunities to become better truck drivers, to learn something new. See, whenever I encounter a setback, I always turn around and make it my comeback. And I want y'all to know, man, anytime that there's people that come against me, anytime there's people telling me I can't do something, anytime there's people coming against my family, against my career, against my business, against my kid, against this, against that, I want you to know, man, I don't back down. I don't shrink up and I'm not weak. We're strong people, man. It takes a strong character of person to become a truck driver. And it's not an easy job, man. So when you encounter something, man, your viewpoint matters, man. Thrive in adversity. Whenever you encounter a setback, look at it as a comeback, man. Always. Y'all know what it is, baby. Wild Beard out.